Hello, hi, come on in, have a seat. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Birch, and I'll be performing the examination today. Okay? Yeah, come on in, just have a seat and, uh, and make yourself comfortable, you know, as comfortable as you can. I know doctor's offices aren't for everyone, but I promise it's not scary at all today, okay? In fact, I think you'll find it quite relaxing. So, let me just start by getting your full name and date of birth. Just so I can make sure that, you know, we're getting the right person for the job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Date of birth. different than, than usual or 
Have you had situations where people around you have said something smells and you just, you know, didn't really smell it at all? No? Okay. Well, that sounds good. I mean, there's probably nothing wrong, but um, I'll just be on the safe side. And I have this um, smelly liquid. <laughs> and if I could just ask you to block one nostril again.
thing, just look straight ahead. If you can, I know it's a bit, uh, a bit out of the ordinary. So test your visual field and your blind spot after that. Okay. So we'll test if uh, what you see is normal or larger or smaller than uh, than your regular person. Okay. So we'll actually do this uh, in tandem. So we will compare my visual field. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to ask you to cover one eye. If you could do that yourself, this side, and I'll cover this side. Okay? Okay. And I'll move my hand just equidistantly between you and me um, from the outside and in, and you'll let me know when you can see the hand. Look at me. Okay, that's good. Just look at my nose. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now you can cover your right eye like that. And I'll cover my left eye. Okay. Same thing, just look straight ahead, start my nose, and let me know when you can see my waggling hand, that's good. Okay. Okay, that's good. Just keep the eye occluded. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, now you can uh, open both your eyes. Just uh, blink a couple times, get used to it. Okay, you good? Okay, and you'll let me know how many fingers am I holding up? Two. out of the ordinary in your visual fields. So the next thing we'll test is slightly trickier. Same kind of thing, similar. It's your blind spot. We all have a blind spot in each of our eyes that, um, you know, in our day-to-day -day life, we hardly notice it. I should say we don't notice it at all because we have blessed with the two eyes and our brain is smart enough to compensate for the fact that there is a blind spot. But we can actually locate it using this pen with a red colored base. So again, I'll ask you to cover your right eye, cover my left eye. Okay, and I'll move this 
distantly between us and let's see okay so you can see the red tip that's great okay let me know if or when you cannot see it if it suddenly disappears okay back. Okay, that's good. Okay, we'll do the same thing with the other eye. If you could cover your left eye, cover my right eye. Okay, same thing. You can see it. See it, see it, see it, see it, see it, see it. See it, see it, see it. Okay. talking about field of vision. That's an actual blind spot. There. Gone. Back. Okay. That's great. Okay. So that was um, comparable to my own. So um, no problems there. Okay. That was excellent. Okay. And of course you can see the color of this one. It's red, right? I said it so. I said as much. Um, Part of the cranial nerve exam and the test of the optic nerve is also to test for color vision or color blindness. So, as you've not reported anything, there probably isn't anything. But at the same time, color vision is one of those, uh, or color blindness is one of those things that you don't necessarily notice if um, if you develop. if you can read the number here or if you can yeah this 12 so even if you had color blindness you should be able to see that one okay. can you identify what this is 29 
and let's just end with this one. Trust you can see the line. No problems at all. Good. Okay, so that concludes the test of the optic nerve and you passed no troubles at all. So you're doing great. So the next few cranial nerves that we'll test are actually also related to the eye and they are the trochlear, the, or the oculomotor, the trochlear and the abducens nerve. Respectively the third, fourth and sixth cranial nerves. And they all have to do with controlling the movement of the eye and the eyelids. Okay. So, pretty simple test. I'll just ask you, well, this time I'll actually ask you to follow my finger. Don't look at me, look at the finger. And I'll just be observing your eye movement while I move my finger. Okay, ready? Okay, so just follow it around. Mm -hmm. Tree and my finger. Okay, so close. Okay. Okay. Look up. Mm, look at me. Look right. Look at me. Look left. Look at me. Look down. Look at me. Look up again. Look at me. Look right. Look at me. Look left. Look at me. Look down. Look at me. Okay. That's great. That's great. Okay. So the next cranial nerve that we'll test is the trigeminal nerve, and that's the fifth cranial nerve. Remember that we just had the third, fourth, and sixth, and now we're going back to the fifth. The trigeminal nerve, it transmits um, sensory information from the face, the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and the mandibular regions of the face, and it's also involved with the muscles of mastication or chewing. Okay, so the way we'll test that is just to lightly take a piece of cotton here. Got this little wooden stick. So the cotton is a very soft feel. You can feel that. Okay. And the stick is sort of a more of a pinprick type sensation. Can you reach out your hand? Like that. Yeah. So it doesn't hurt at all, but it's a sharper sort of sensation. And I just like to test, so I'm going to get a bit closer to you, and I'm going to be touching you in the face, okay? Okay, so you'll just say yes when you feel me touching you. I'm going to start by using the soft cotton wool, okay? And you felt all that, and did it feel 
all the same on both sides. Okay, that's good. So, we're gonna take the pin break now. Do the same thing. Close your eyes. something called the corneal reflex. I'm also testing that with a piece of cotton. It's not quite as um, soft because we're going to be touching the cornea. Very, very lightly. It's not going to hurt. I mean, some, th some people might find it slightly unpleasant. Elicit a quick blinking response. That's good. Sorry. One, two, three. That's good. That's what we want. I will put that away. Let's not use it again. Okay, and there's also another reflex involved with the trigeminal nerve, and that is the so called jaw jerk reflex. So it's just a quick, simple test. I'll be putting a finger on your jaw here and I'll strike it with the reflex hammer. Okay, if you could just let your jaw hang loose and relax. Not, not wide open, just you know, relax. Okay? And one, two, three. Good. No, it's not one of those reflexes where you want a strong reaction like closing your jaw immediately. Actually, if, if you did that, that would actually be, be a sign that there was something wrong with the, with the trigeminal nerve. But it was a very muted response, so that's what we want. Okay? Great, you're doing great. Okay, nothing 
nothing to worry about, like I said, and like I imagined. I mean, just talking to you, I don't get the feeling that there's anything wrong with any of your cranial nerves, but, but we like to go through them all every now and again just to be on the safe side, okay? Because, you know, some of it is obvious, some of it is not so obvious. You know, some of it is not something that you might notice every day or just talking or, or watching someone. So that's why we do these quite detailed tests, okay? So the next nerve is the facial nerve, and what that, that does is transmit motor information, so not sensory information like the trigeminal nerve, but motor information to the face. So that's basically all your facial expressions. So we'll be doing a bunch of funny faces together. Ready? Okay, good. Now first, I want you to raise your eyebrows in complete shock and surprise. Like that. Okay, good. Now clench your eyes real tight and hold close. Don't let me open them. That's good. Good. Now show me your teeth. Mm-hmm. Very good. And puff out your cheeks. That's good. That's strong. And purse your lips like you're gonna whistle. That's good. Excellent. Now, the facial nerve is actually also responsible for the sensory information from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, so the front two-thirds. Um, so let me just ask you if you've been noticing any changes in your taste lately. Whether you've been able to taste sour, strong, sweet, bitter, as usual. Okay, and there's nothing that you used to be able to eat and enjoy that you don't enjoy anymore because of the taste. Okay. Okay, that's good. No, we don't need to test that. That's fine. I believe you. <laughs> so the, uh, the next cranial nerve is the vestibulocochlear. And that's the nerves regarding the inner ear. They are involved in hearing and also balance. Yeah. So we'll start by a simple hearing test and then move on to uh, some tests using the tuning fork. Okay, but first I'll just be whispering so a few a uh, few words in your right and left ears and you'll just repeat them back to me okay good and in the opposite ear I'll uh, make sort of a noise like that like a distraction noise so that um, we're making sure that you're only listening with the relevant ear okay Vibrations through the bone, like 
bone conduction. And at some point when you can't hear it anymore, you'll let me know and I will move the tuning fork right next to your ear. And then you'll let me know if you can hear it then or not. Okay? And we'll do that for both ears. Okay, you ready? Okay.
nice and clean, very symmetrical. Okay, can you say ah? Mm -hmm. It's good. good, 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 good. Yeah, nothing looks out of the ordinary. Like I said, everything is symmetrical. Good. So that's basically it. Uh, sometimes we do the gag reflex test if there are signs of injury to the glossopharyngeal or vagus nerve, but um, it's really not really not necessary or pleasant. Okay, I do want to do another thing though, because that nerve also controls swallowing and coughing. So if you could start by coughing for me. Okay.